Guys, there was a Nintendo Direct today. I actually reacted to it earlier today. You know, a bunch of you guys saw it. It was actually our most popular live stream ever. I think we had 400 plus people watching it uh, at a given point. And so you guys already know about all of the announcements that happened at that Nintendo Direct, which in my estimation is the best Nintendo Direct Mini we've had yet. But actually what I want to talk about here is about two games that uh, were announced during this and the implications of these games. So one of them is Hitman 3 and the other is Control. Now these are both games I have never played before and actually would be interested in checking out on uh, Switch. In particular, Control, as uh, that's a newer game that got a lot of Game of the Year nominations back in 2019 uh, and has been one of the showcase games for things like DLSS 2.0. Oh, uh, throughout this video, you're going to be seeing my gameplay of Control, the uh, allotted demo time, which doesn't get you that that far into the game, but it at least gives you time to see if the game will run. And you'll see a couple stutters here and there at par for the course. Uh, I was using a Wi-Fi connection, uh, so I wanted to kind of showcase what this would be like with most people who don't actually have a LAN uh, adapter for their switch what it would be like uh, granted my switch is located very close to the router and I have a very good Wi-Fi connection but I was also doing it in performance mode I or uh, yeah no I'm sorry in visual mode not performance mode uh, performance mode I don't know maybe it runs smoother because maybe it runs at a lower resolution uh, but you get a, a better frame rate a smoother connection I'm not sure that is something that I will test out because I actually plan to buy uh, control you'll actually see me uh, towards the end of my gameplay here going into the eShop to do that then I stop right before I'm gonna add the funds I don't need you guys seeing my credit card information uh but what i find interesting about this uh game or, or, or this concept of cloud gaming on switch is that these are games that you know control perceivably could have ran on switch maybe sort of uh hitman 3 maybe could have sort of ran on switch but I'm, I, I'm kind of excited by this prospect of cloud gaming now how switch is handling it uh isn't new uh, they, they tried different versions of cloud gaming in Japan already with like Assassin's Creed Odyssey, uh, Resident Evil 7, both of those trying like rental methods and rental tickets and, the, and at least control that's available right now. Hitman 3 will be available a little later. Uh, you, you know, you don't really, uh, get much of a, a purchasing choice. Uh, it, it's going to run you $39.99 for the complete edition. Uh, that's the only version available. Uh, so I assume it has all available DLC or content that's currently up to date with the game. Uh, obviously, the idea of cloud gaming is that the game is not running on your Switch. It's running on a server somewhere and being streamed to your Switch. Now, I didn't notice a ton of input lag, but controls also kind of in my opinion, based on gameplay, I've seen a good game for streaming uh, because input lag isn't going to be as big a deal as it would be in, say, a fast-paced multiplayer shooter or something like this. But it's also my first legitimate taste of cloud gaming on Switch because while I tried out Resident Evil 7 uh, back when that came out in Japan, I was obviously running off the Japanese servers, and while I was able to get into the game and, and try it out a little bit, um, it was really, really bad, uh, which is to be expected because there were no local servers. You weren't actually supposed to play it outside Japan. Uh, so, yeah, it wasn't a good experience. I actually would say Control was a pretty passable experience, enough to get me to purchase the game. And when I find it fascinating um, that Cloud Gaming is coming to Switch. It is using a Google Stadia type methodology. Uh, you do buy full price games or, or you know, close to full price games. Uh, and that's not how I want cloud games delivered on a switch i want it to be like uh what luna is doing with amazon and hopefully what's going to happen with xcloud we don't actually have xcloud uh's model public yet uh it hasn't been stated it's in a trial mode on android but we don't actually know if they're going to go full subscription model charge for individual if there's going to be different uh, if they're going to do what Luna does, where like there's a subscription and then you can subscribe to additional tiers, like an Ubisoft tier to get all the Ubisoft games. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see uh, that. But I'm glad to see cloud gaming on Switch. I think that's my big thing. I'm glad to see that cloud gaming is a thing on Switch. And for its point, I hope that people use it and I hope that it succeeds. Now, there's going to be limitations with cloud gaming on Switch, of course. The intent of cloud gaming on Switch is to be used in docked mode, right? It's not really meant to be used on the go. The more you walk around the house or in different areas of your house where you might not have the, the most ideal Wi-Fi connection, uh, it's going to have issues. And obviously, the best ideal connection would be to get a LAN adapter, which I'm 
I guess I'll, I'll get and maybe compare and contrast the differences between the speeds on the LAN adapter versus Wi-Fi. Uh, can compare and contrast speeds against, you know, performance mode uh, versus, you know, graphics mode. Uh, and th there's going to be a lot of stuff I need to look into uh, to try out this cloud game. In fact, the whole reason I'm buying Control isn't just because I actually want to play it because I've heard a lot of good things, but it's also because I need to fully test out cloud gaming on Switch in a legit matter. And this is a pretty legit matter. Now, it should be noted, I have a really fast internet connection at home. It is cable, so it's, we're not talking fiber here, but I get a gig down here uh, in, in my home because I have a business line. So uh, I, get, I have pretty fast internet considering that it's still cable internet. So this might not be indicative of what it's like at your house. Obviously, the type of router you have will also impact your Wi-Fi. I know that a lot of uh, people have issues with their Switch staying connected to their Wi-Fi routers. I don't have that issue here, but uh, it is an issue that is known uh, among several popular Wi-Fi router options. Uh, and yes, it's really an issue with the Switch because the Switch is using a fairly cheap Wi-Fi chip. That's why they do tell you uh, before you even download the game that you know you're, the reason you're able to play it is because you're supposed to be able to test your connection to see if it's at a playable state for you. It'll disconnect you, uh, you know, after a few minutes if it's not a stable connection. I never got disconnected, so for what it's worth, it was just a short demo. Uh, I'm, I, I, I like cloud gaming on Switch. I want it to come in the form of like the xCloud or Luna or something like that. I want it to be a service. Uh, it's notable that the cloud gaming seems to be delivered by Nintendo. Uh, when you look through the documentation when you're signing up to buy the game, it, it shows uh, that, you know, the service is running through Nintendo themselves. Now, I don't know that Nintendo is actually hosting the servers for the cloud gaming. Uh, maybe they partner with Google. The reason I bring up Google isn't because of Google Stadia and, and the individual purchases they do, which you know is like what's happening on Switch, but it's because it gives uh, it, it, Nintendo's already partnered with Google. Is kind of what I'm saying. Like their voice chat servers run through Google, so I wouldn't be surprised if this is kind of sort of Google Stadia running on Switch in a way, uh, just without the branding. So I'm I, I like that cloud gaming's on Switch for one reason and one reason only. With cloud gaming on Switch, there is now zero excuse for multi-platform games, next-gen or otherwise, to come to Switch. This is also a brilliant time to bring cloud gaming to Switch when we have next-gen platforms coming. Because people might be worrying, oh man, I gotta buy these platforms, I can't play these games on Switch. Yes, you can. Uh, you absolutely can. And Ubisoft has been supporting every streaming platform, so... Is it possible that in a month, in two months, we see Assassin's Creed Valhalla announced as a streaming game on Switch? I don't see why not. They did Odyssey in Japan, so why not bring Valhalla to Switch here in the United States? I think that this is the tip of the iceberg for Nintendo. Normally, Nintendo takes a lot of time to catch up to any internet-related trends, but this is one trend that Nintendo seems to be fully intent to not let pass them by. Nintendo did testing on this in Japan, and now they're ready to bring this uh, in a more worldwide manner. And I'm, I'm excited by what it's going to hold in the future. What it is now is just an individual game-by-game -game basis. But I'm hoping that this expands into a full-on service down the line, um, you know, where you can either gather your gl cloud collected games together. Uh, right now, the Switch just treats it like it's a different, like it's a new game. It just requires an internet connection. But I'm... I'm really intrigued. I think this is Nintendo's greatest path, by the way, uh, to get to uh, a point where you can have every game on Switch. No excuses. Now, obviously, nothing beats having games play locally on Switch. This does not mean a Switch Pro or a next-gen Switch um, should delay coming out because this is not the same as playing natively. It never will be the same as playing natively. It's just, that's like saying Google Stadia, xCloud, and Luna adequately replace an xbox series x or a playstation 5 of course they don't actually replace those platforms although there are probably some people out there that look at it as a cheaper alternative i personally think that this is brilliant i'm glad nintendo is going down this route and i hope it continues i hope they streamline it more i hope it becomes a subscription service someday or maybe they let x cloud or something take over but, uh, you know, this is also kind of a sign we're not going to get xCloud on Switch. I know Microsoft has already said it's not coming to Switch, at least not now. Um, but I kind of wonder if it'll ever come to Switch, if Nintendo's going to run their own streaming games. Uh, and you know what? It's fine that they're running their own streaming games. I hope that uh, if a brand new game, let's say, you know, next year's Call of Duty comes out and it's going to come to Switch day and date uh, with a streaming service, I hope that...
that Nintendo is able to charge a little bit less uh, because you don't actually own that game and it's reliant upon an internet connection. So I hope like if it's 60 bucks for everyone else, maybe it's 40 bucks on Switch or something. I don't know. That's probably a pipe dream hope. But yeah, I, I honestly think this is a, a smart move. A great move, and I can't wait to see this expanded in the future. Uh, cloud gaming on Nintendo Switch. Who thought we would actually be talking about that by the end of 2020? To be honest, 2020 has shaped up fairly decently for Nintendo and the Switch. I'm not saying that the lineup is the greatest lineup ever, but uh, they ended up having a couple bangers come out. We got Age of Calamity coming out soon. Demo you can play right now. Uh, you know, we obviously have Control dropped right now. Uh, we, we had Animal Crossing earlier this year and a Paper Mario game, and I get it. These aren't like the greatest live library of games ever uh you know you pick the three deluxe coming this week again not the greatest library of games ever in terms of that but now we have ex some excitement over the future of switch uh where you can be undeterred if you're someone that primarily plays your switch in your home and on a dock uh, I think that uh, for that 20 plus percent of the audience that supposedly uh, plays this almost exclusively in dock mode why not have this option to enjoy full triple a game experiences on the switch now granted hitman 3 and control aren't like the most visually impressive ones but we've seen more visually impressive ones with resident evil 7 and a prior assassin's creed game in japan so when you combo game streaming the hardware is almost irrelevant when it comes to the performance of the game so yeah i want to see this happen and this is where i get excited about a potential nintendo switch uh future nintendo switch being able to do a 4k output because you can in theory stream a 4k game on a future dock or switch so yes folks game streaming is here on switch and i am stoked even if this isn't the delivery method i was hoping for uh it's better than nothing i'd rather have this than nothing and i hope this is just the beginning and the more and more games that, that, that become streaming, Nintendo can start to maybe build a service out of it down the line. Remember, Nintendo is a little behind in the service game, but it doesn't mean we shouldn't have the option to play these games on Switch. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Rodolfo Jance from Nintendo Prime. I played Control today on cloud streaming on a Nintendo Switch officially supported through the Nintendo Switch eShop. What a world we're living in. I'll catch you guys in the next video.